Namaste, beautiful souls. If you haven't noticed by now, I love my booty burn flows. So today is going to be another booty burn interval yoga flow. So <laughs> be prepared. <laughs> I'll see you on the mat. We'll begin today in Tadasana front of the mat, roll the shoulders back and down, allow the shoulders to relax but the hands to be energetic, maybe sway a little bit left and right, find your center axis, central axis at the front of the mat, noticing the difference in the sides perhaps, pressing firmly into all four corners of both feet. And then find your way to stillness. Imagine that you have a string attached to the crown of the head and it's lifting the body up toward the sky, lengthening the torso, creating more space between each vertebra. Imagine that you're getting taller as you stand here your body is becoming more light. And begin to turn the attention to the breath. Notice how it feels as it moves in and out of the body. Notice where you feel it as it moves in and out of the body. Maybe it's in the bottom of the belly. Maybe it's in the rib cage, the collarbones, the throat, tip of the nose. Notice where your breath goes when it comes into the body, providing energy and life. Notice how it feels as it exits. Taking this moment to become fully present before we begin the practice. Good, and now on the next inhale, reach the arms down, around and up. And exhale, sink to chair. Inhale, press through the heels, come back up. Exhale, sink to chair, engage the core, relax the shoulders. Inhale, press back up. Exhale, chair. Inhale, use the glutes, lift. Exhale, chair. Take the weight onto the right leg now. One-legged chair. Woo! And kick the left leg behind you, warrior three. You can bring the hands to prayer for balance. Drop the left hip down. Inhale, one-legged chair. Woo! Exhale, warrior three. My legs are sore today, so this is gonna be a tough one. Inhale, three-legged chair. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, come back to standing at the top of the mat. Shake it out. <laughs> Ooh, this one's gonna be tough for me. I challenge you now to do better than me in this practice. Inhale, reach. Exhale, chair. One-legged chair, left side. Press through the heel. Kick it back. Th uh, warrior three, drop the right hip down. Inhale, 
three-legged chair or one-legged chair. Woo! Exhale, warrior three. Too many numbers right now for me. Inhale, come on up. One-legged chair. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, come to standing at the front of the mat. Reach the arms up above the head. Exhale, flat back, forward fold. Mm. Let the head be heavy. Shake the head yes and no. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the palms. Step it back to plank. Vinyasa to downward facing dog. Pedal through the feet. Spread the fingers wide. Gaze between the heels. Hips high, you can bend the knees deeply. Melt the heart space toward the thighs. Inhale, right heel kicks to the sky. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, high lunge. Start with a high lunge. Press the left heel away from you. Maybe inch that left ball of the foot back a little farther. Bend more deeply in the right leg, right knee over ankle. Then bring your hands to the hips, engage the core. Drop the left knee straight down toward the mat. Press back up. Hop the left foot in. Left knee comes down towards the right ankle. Press back up, that's a staggered squat. Step back, lunge dip, step forward, staggered squat dip. Keep the weight in the right heel. Step back, two, two. I had to show you a demo one, right? Three, three. Try to keep the hips square, back, four, four, Woo! five, five. Left knee comes in the direction of the right ankle. Try to keep the right knee over the right ankle best you can. Six. Six. Seven. Lift the torso. Seven. Gaze ahead. Eight. Eight. Whew. Nine. Nine. Ten. Last one. Ten. Step it back. High lunge. I'm shaking. All right. It's official. My legs are shot. But we're gonna make it through this practice anyway. It's all about the booty burn, isn't it? It's all about the booty burn. All right, plant the palms, step it back to plank. Vinyasa. It's a downward facing dog. It's funny because I'll get sore. <laughs> I'll get sore in my legs and I'll be like, a day or two later, like, what did I do? <laughs> like, why am I sore? Because <laughs> I won't have thought that something was as difficult as it was. Like, it'll be easy at the time, and then I'm sore days later. So I feel like that's a good thing, right? Okay, enough talking. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, come up. High lunge. And you might notice I'm wearing a knee strap, a knee brace. That's because I did recently uh, injure my knee and I've been very slowly bringing it back to, uh, you know, strength. And it doesn't really, it doesn't hurt right now, but I'm just wearing the brace for that extra support just in case. I don't want to re-hurt myself for, for a silly reason <laughs> or at all. I don't want to hurt myself. Press the right heel away from you. Bend through the left knee. Deeply engage the core. High lunge. Always remember to take it easy on yourself, okay? If you have an injury, respect it, rehab it, be nice to it, and give it love, and it'll, it'll heal and it'll treat you right. Bring your hands to your hips, drop the right knee toward the mat, come back up, hop forward, right knee to left ankle. Come back up and step back, we'll do 10 of these, lunge dips to staggered squat dips. Try to keep the hips square. Try to keep the left knee over the left ankle as best you can, okay? Whew. Engage the core, and let's go. One, 
One, two, two, three. Weight in the left heel, three. Gaze on the horizon, four, four, five, five. Core tight, six. Shoulders relaxed, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Step it back, high lunge, plant the palms, plank, vinyasa, to downward facing dog. Come back to the breath. Maybe take the arms a little bit wider, hands a little bit wider to create space for the shoulders. Maybe bend the knees a little, see if that changes the stretch in the hamstrings. And inhale, kick the right heel high to the sky, square the hips, flex the foot. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, high lunge. Maybe scooch the left foot a little bit farther away. Lift the torso. Imagine you've got that string in the top of your head and it's lifting the torso to create more length. You're growing taller. And bring the hands to the hips. Drop the left knee down toward the mat. And then forward, heading toward that staggered squat. Okay? Except this time, we're gonna jump. You don't have to jump, you can just do the same thing we did before, but if you want to step it up a notch and you feel like jumping, jump, okay? So, staggered squat, jump up, come back down, high lunge, knee dip. Forward, jump, come back, knee dip. Two, three, four, Five, weight in the right heel. Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. High lunge. Hands to prayer, prayer twist. Press through the left heel. Try to come back to the breath. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, plant the palms. Plank. Vinyasa. To downward facing breath. Oh man, okay. Take a break. <laughs> Take a breather before we head over to the other side. You can shake the head, release the back of the neck. You can tell me how much you don't want to do it. And then I'm just going to laugh and say me neither, but we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> awesome. Inhale. Left heel kicks high to the sky. Square the hip, flex the foot. Exhale, step it through. Inhale. High lunge. Woo -hee. All right, I'm sweating. I don't know if it's hot where you are, but it's, I don't even think it's that hot here. I think I'm just, I think I'm just sweating. I think I'm just dying. That's okay. <laughs> dying in a good way. All right, high lunge. Give me a strong high lunge. Engage the core. <sighs> lift through the torso. Lift through the crown of the head. Square the hips. Bring the hands to the hips. Drop the right knee down towards the mat. Hop forward into staggered squat setup. I know, I know. And hop and step back. If you don't want to do the hop, no worries. Just do the same combination you did before. All right, 10 times. You can do it. We can do it. All right, lunge, staggered squat, hop one. Whew. Two, three, engage the core, four, 
Weight in the left heel. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. High lunge, prayer twist. Press the right heel away from you. Maybe look up. Straighten through the back leg. Inhale, come up, high lunge. Exhale, plant the palms. Plank. Vinyasa. To downward facing dog. Come back to the breath. Create more space for the shoulders. Point the index fingers up towards two and ten. Gaze between the heels. Inhale, come onto the toes, bend the knees. Look between the hands and exhale. Hop, step, or jump to the front of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, swoop the arms down, around and up. Exhale, hands to prayer. Lengthen the tailbone towards the mat. Engage the core. Relax the shoulders. Turn the attention back to the breath, to the heat in the body. <sighs> Inhale, swoop the arms up above the head. Exhale, chair. Weight onto the right leg, one-legged chair. Woo, kick it back. Warrior three. From here, touch the mat, or attempt to touch the mat. Keep the hip squared. One-legged deadlift, you can bend the left knee, keep the right knee bent, no worries. Just keep the hips square. Do your best to touch the mat. You can also grab blocks or a table or a bed or something if you have it near you in order to, <laughs> to bring the floor up to you, okay? So starting in warrior three, bend the right knee, touch the floor and hop up to the front, knee to chest. You can skip the hop, just bring the knee up, okay? Engage the core. Kick the left foot back, deadlift, hop, or bring the knee up. One, two, keep the hips square. Three, flex the left foot behind you. Four, flat back. Five, if you fall over, that's okay. Six, it's balance. It's hard. Seven, especially if you've got long legs. I got short legs. Eight, so this is a little bit easier for me than somebody who has long legs. Nine, ten. All right, warrior three. One legged chair. Press it up. Step it down. Shake it out. Other side. Inhale, reach. Exhale, chair. Weight onto the left foot, one-legged chair. Weight in the left heel. Kick it back, warrior three. Flex the right foot. Bend the left foot, touch the ground. Knee to chest or hop up 10 times. One-legged deadlift. One. Two, this is my more off balance side. Three, my weaker side. Four, core tight, flat back. Five, hinge at the hips. Okay, so we're not rounding to try to touch the ground like this. Hinge at the hips with a flat back and come forward. I don't remember what I was at. Five, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, 10, 
for your three. <laughs> One legged chair. Press it up, step it down, shake it out. Woo! Good job. If your legs are not on fire, then, uh, then I think I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> All right, make your way back to the front of the mat. If you had wandered off, feet hip distance apart. Whew. Inhale, reach. Bring the left knee up into the chest. You can grab onto the leg if you'd like without grabbing so hard that you force yourself to fall over like I almost did. And bring your left ankle to your right knee. Sink the hips back. Chair, figure four, chair. You can gently press the left elbow into the left knee. That opens the hip a little bit more if that feels comfortable. Sink the hips deeper. Flex the left foot. Hands to prayer. Inhale, come back up, shake it out. Whew, reach the hands up above, up above the head. Bring the left knee into the chest. You can grab onto it if you'd like. Relax the shoulders, bring the right ankle to the left knee. Sink the hips, chair, figure four, hands to prayer. Maybe gently press the right elbow into the knee if that feels good. This feels amazing on my hips. Sink the hips deeper. And press it back up, shake it out. Tadasana at the front of the mat. Wipe the sweat out of your eye. Roll the shoulders back and down, palms facing the front of the room. Okay, bring your hands to your hips. Take the feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart. Toes facing out at a little bit of a diagonal. And uh, sink the hips into squat pose. Okay, we're in squat. Booty back, core engaged, flat back, shoulders relaxed, like we're having a good old time and we're not about to do some jumps, okay? Squat, one, two, three hops to the back of the mat and you guessed it, one big hop to the front. One, two, three, two, one, two, three. Try to land lightly if you can. Keep a bend in the knees, land on the balls of the feet. Use your shock system. <laughs> Do your best, engage the core, take breaks if you need to. We got this. Three, one, two, three, four. Use your arms to help you jump. Five, six, Ooh. Seven, eight, almost, nine, ten. I don't know why I jumped back another time, so I'm gonna jump back to the front in yogic squat. So wherever you're at, get your 10 in, pause the video if you need to, take a drink of water if you need to, Meet me in yogi squat at the front of the mat. <clears throat> Gently press the elbows into the knees, hands to prayer, shoulders down, hips heavy. Gently dip the chin and come back to the front. Take the right hand on the outside of the right leg. Reach the left arm up, twist. Maybe clasp behind the back if it's in your practice. And switch sides, take the left hand to the outside of the left foot, reach the right arm up. Maybe clasp. And maybe notice that one side is very different from the other and that's fine. And release. Yogi squat. 
Take the hands onto the mat, straighten the legs, forward fold with your feet as wide as the mat. Take the torso over to the right, dip the chin, let the head be heavy, over to the left, and back to center. Inhale, half lift, hands to hips, exhale here. Inhale, come all the way up to standing, and take one big step, the long way of the mat, Bring the toes just slightly in, heels out, or legs, feet parallel to the side of the mat. Clasp the hands behind the back, open the chest, look up, smile, big breath in, and exhale. Keep the clasp forward, fold. Keep a micro bend in the knees, allow the gravity to take over and stretch the front of the shoulders. Press into the outer edge of the feet. Release the clasp, take the torso to the right leg. And the left. Take the hands to the mat beneath the shoulders. Press down through the left hand, square the hips. Inhale, right arm reaches up. Do your best to keep the hips square so you don't butt the right hip over to the right. Really try to keep the hips square and twist from the belly button. Twist from the torso. And reach up and over. Release, right hand plants into the ground. You can come up onto the spidey fingers. Inhale, left arm reaches up to the sky. Reach up and over and forward fold once again. Inhale, half lift. Take the knees to the mat. You can. Pad up the mat if you'd like for extra support. Take the knees as wide as they'll go. Calves parallel, arch side of the foot down. Keep the hips in line with the knees and bring your forearms onto the mat, frog pose. Stretching the groin, allow the hips to be heavy. And allow your body to relax into the pose. Excellent, bring the toes together, bring the knees a little bit closer in, and come into a wide-legged child's pose. And walk the hands back in, downward facing dog. Inhale, left heel kicks up, stack the hips, bend the knee, drop the right foot behind you. You can stay up, like this, or take the right foot to the mat behind you, flick the hips, wild thing. And flip it back over, pigeon on the right side, square the hips, press into the top of the left foot, right hip back, left hip forward, inhale, grow tall through the spine, and if it's in your practice, walk the hands forward. Otherwise, you can stay up where you were, Press the left hip down, right hip back. Really just sink into the pose. Bring your attention back to the breath. And slowing everything down. 
Inhale, walk the hands back in. Flip the left toes under. Come back into three-legged dog. And paint a few circles with the toes or with the knee, one way and then the other. And step it down. Inhale, left leg up. Stack the hips, bend the knee. Press equally into both hands. An option to stay here or drop the left foot behind you. Flip the hips wildly. And flip it back. Pigeon on the left side. Square the hips, press through the top of the right foot, inhale, grow tall through the spine. And if it's in your practice, you can walk the hands forward. Otherwise, stay up wherever feels the most beneficial for you. Right hip down, left hip back. Relax the shoulders and send the breath deep into the body, into the places where you feel sensation. Inhale, walk the hands back in. Flip the right toes under, three-legged dog. A few hip circles, the toes or the knee. And bring the knees down. Come to sit on the bum. Take the soles of the feet together, knees apart. Inhale, lift, grow tall through the spine. And exhale, forward fold over the legs. You can take your hands to your feet and gently press into the knees with the elbows. You can reach farther forward if that feels more beneficial for you. Inhale, walk the hands back up. Janu Shursasana, left. Foot to right thigh, inhale, reach, exhale, fold. In the direction of the foot. Inhale, come back up, switch sides. Grow tall through the spine, flex the left foot, and fold. Relax the shoulders. Inhale, come back up. Take both legs long. Dig the heels into the mat. Reach the hands back around to the left. Lift the right hip up, martial arts twist. Bring the forehead towards the mat. Switch sides. And come back up, roll down onto the back. Bring the knees into the chest and a few circles with the knees, massaging the lower back. Other direction. Bring the knees in the directions of the armpits. Flex the feet, grab the feet, happy baby. Smile. Enjoy the feelings in the body, the sensations. And release the legs, take the left leg long, right knee into the chest. Supine twist. And other side. And 
and release. You can bring the soles of the feet together or take the legs long in Shavasana. Bring the shoulders underneath the heart space. Allow the palms to face the sky. And return your attention to the breath. Notice if perhaps it feels different in your body now than it did at the beginning of the practice. Notice if you feel it in different places or not. Now release the breath from any expectations. And allow it to go back to its natural rhythm. Continuing to provide you with light, energy, and life without your attention. Just doing what it was meant to do. And you can stay here peacefully for as long as you're able to. And I'll see you next time with our next class together. From my heart to yours, namaste. Thank you.